Hello leaders, welcome. Welcome to the Davos Women Challenge. I'm Sandra Rupp and I'm on the Thinkers 50 Guru Radar list for the world's top business thinkers. We're here today on Smart TV to talk about five Davos men. And I want to thank two of my Davos CEOs who I know have already added ladies to their CEO teams. I'd like to give a special hello to my five key Davos CEOs who I'm inviting to meet with me here in Naples, Florida to discuss women in leadership. The CEO of Unilever, Paul Pullman. The CEO of WPP Group, Sir Martin Sorrell. The CEO of Citigroup, Michael Corbett. The CEO of Dell, Michael Dell. And the CEO of Coca-Cola, Mutar Kent. I am delighted to welcome all of you. We can have our meeting, we can film it so all the world can watch it. If you haven't scheduled your appointments yet, Davos CEOs, you can contact me at ParthenonAdvisors.com. Today I want to talk about why Davos CEOs need a female executive coach. In the case of at least a couple of these Davos CEOs, they don't have daughters. And so I've often found in my executive coaching that when men don't have daughters, they may not understand the different types of leadership styles among women. And when you get the masculine leadership style, working with the feminine leadership style, I call it the yin-yang of leadership. There's really nothing more powerful for a company, shareholders, boards, or executive teams. And the exciting thing about now is that we have enough talent to place 30% women on the CEO teams of all these companies, at a minimum 30%. When I attended a top MBA school back in the 80s, the late 80s, 40% of my class was female. Recently, one of my favorite CEOs gave an interview to a major newspaper about the importance of diversity. And interestingly, um, he did a great job of describing the female brain, the differences between the male and female brain, uh, discussing the importance of diversity, discussing a lot of important themes around sustainability, uh, but when he got to the point about what is a leader like, uh, when he talked about authenticity, he said he is. That you need to have someone like me on your team, coaching you, going through the speeches, going through the interviews, and making sure that Davos CEOs are on top of the language of inclusion. And in fact, I really like that word inclusion better than diversity. Um, to me, diversity shows differences. Inclusion shows how we're similar, and I think that's really important because when you describe leaders, you need to say he or she is. It's a very minor thing, but it actually put a damper on the entire article for the CEO. The world is constantly changing with the dynamics of modern technology. We need to constantly train our employees and our companies and our CEOs to evolve. And that requires a lot more of this coaching around the feminine leadership style as well as the masculine leadership style. My goal, to get 30% plus ladies on their CEO teams and have them bring two or five female delegates to Davos to show the other Davos men how it's done. The feminine leadership style believes in things like conscious capitalism, sustainability, and creating a brighter future. And if there's one thing that I know about Davos CEOs, is they believe that creativity is a number one leadership competency in the 21st century. The IBM study confirmed it. So Davos CEOs, we need to get rolling, and we need 30% plus ladies on your CEO teams. In our media and advertising, we need to have a lot more feminine leader role models, because I know that there are a lot of talented ladies out there who have also started up businesses that are in management consulting that have a combination of skills that can do amazing things, both in the corporate world as well as in the entrepreneurial sectors. I can find 30% ladies for your CEO team today. So I hope you'll look forward to scheduling your video appointments with me, either here in Naples, Florida, at Davos, or at Can Lions. You can follow the Davos Woman Challenge now on smart TVs, mobile, and computers. All through social media, I'm really excited to share that leadership can look like this. Many thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. I'm Sandra Rupp. I'm on the Thinkers 50 Guru Radar list for the world's top business thinkers.